Hey guys, real quick, just wanted to demonstrate or show kind of how I set my sling up. Uh, it's personal preference, so don't take this as the end all be all. Kind of figure out what works for you. Some people like different setups, as you can tell at one point in time. And I still, every once in a while, mount my sling further to the rear of the handguard. But I like to, at this point, have them in the front. Uh, I've found that it really works best for me throughout the full adjustment range of using the sling. And then also when I tighten it down to my body in more administrative role, it kind of keeps the rifle from flopping around a little more. So I, I've gotten to the point where I like this the most. So if you want to get a little bit of an idea of how I actually set the webbing up, there you go. I like this way. It keeps it nice and clean, simple. There's nothing extra. I don't have to cut anything. Pull tabs right there. Let's show you an example of that, our pull tab. And then the rear. The rear is another thing a lot of guys like to mount to the end plate. Perfectly cool. Um, that's kind of like half and half. Everyone, a lot of people really like to mount there. Nothing wrong with it. I've done it. Um, but throughout the years, this is just where I've changed mine to. I like to have it actually looped to the other side of the buttstock. And this is kind of ge uh, generally accepted now. It keeps the sling out of your way, keeps it from choking you. I like to hard mount it right to the stock. Uh, it's one less QD I gotta put on the rifle, so in my opinion, one less failure point. And I've never found myself in what, doing what I do, I've never found myself needing to quickly QD myself fully from the sling to, from the rifle. It's just something that I haven't had to do, so I'm perfectly fine just having the one QD in the front. And honestly, I don't even need the QD in the front often. I could replace that with paracord and have a quieter, simpler, uh, more user serviceable setup but just something to show you guys uh, the back after i loop it through again i like to keep it pretty clean with how i finish it i give leave the two tri glides on the sling the second one this one back here is actually just for getting the tail of the sling nice and cleaned up on the rifle that's the way you don't have to cut the extra webbing off so it doesn't really do much it's not really there for any purpose other than tidying up the sling. Uh, this one right here is the one that's doing all the work. So, cool. Just want to give you guys a quick look. If anybody has any questions or wants to see anything else or wants to give me some suggestions on how to make any of the content better, you know, that's in my skill level. I'm not really a pro at the editing and or the filming or any of that good stuff yet. So this is all kind of the, the best you're going to get for now. But any tips and uh, tricks would be welcomed so thanks guys stay tuned till next time